In this tutorial, I'm going to show you step-by-step step how to make this anklet. If you don't have the material needed at home, you can purchase my macrame kit for $5. You can message me on Instagram or by email for more details on shipping. Welcome to Jewelry Making with Emily. For this tutorial, you're going to need a pair of scissors, a lighter, four support strings of 45 centimeters each or 18 inches, two working strings of 125 centimeters or 49 inches each, a small string for the sliding knot of 15 centimeters or 6 inches, and a seashell. So we're going to start by taking those four support strings of 40 centimeters each or 18 inches each. We're going to hold it at 10 centimeters or 4 inches and that's where we're going to make um, just an overhand knot to start. And we'll undo that at the end to uh, the, the finishing here. So I'm going to pin it to my board and we're going to divide it in two and they're each going to create these lines here. The reason why we put two strings on each side is just to make it a little thicker. We're going to take one of the 125 centimeter string or 49 inches. The first one is for this side and then the second one will be for that side. And we're going to start. So I'm going to take these two strings with my left hand and this one, the working string will go underneath. We'll make a knot over and pull tight towards the over and knot at the top and we'll make two of those. Same thing with this one, we'll go on top of the working string, the working string will make a knot, it's a reverse figure four. And pull all the way and repeat. So we have our first row here. So now we go the opposite side. So the support string are going to go towards the right and the working string is underneath and now we do a figure four. Push it and two of those. Same thing. Now I like to uh, pin here, keep it more stable. We're going to repeat the same thing until we reach this length of eight and a half centimeters, which is three and a half inches. Okay, so one more row. So to put the shell, we're going to take the two strings that are in the middle and we're going to put the shell underneath and those two strings 
are gonna go inside of the shell, but not all the way through. I'm gonna flip it around so we see the two strings coming out. So we're gonna take the right string, slide it underneath the bump, and the string from the left goes to the right. So we're crossing these two strings. Like this. And then we pull on the two middle strings. So if we flip it around, now everything's loose. So we're just gonna push the shell by pulling at the same time on those strings and then on those strings to make it tight. Like this. So I'm gonna take the other, the other string of 125 centimeters. I'm gonna make a little knot over here so I can pin it right next to it. That's where I'm gonna start working. So I'm gonna put them where they were. So this one will go on this side with one of the middle and one of from behind with the other one from the middle. And then we continue with the other side, same as we did above. Okay, so we have one more row. Here we go. I always measure to make sure that both sides are even. There we go. So now we're gonna undo uh, the knot we did at first. And on each side, we're just gonna do a square knot over here. I'll take the two on the outside. Left goes underneath. Over the right. Right goes on top of everything into the loop. And we pull. And we'll do another one. This time the opposite. Right underneath on top of the left left on top of everything into the loop then i'm just going to make an overhand knot at the end and we'll do the same on the other side so we're going to make two square knots Make sure that both knots are the same distance on each side. So over here. Let's measure again. Tighten it. So now we're going to cut and burn all the excess. Always make sure not to cut your work. And when you use a lighter, always make sure not to burn your fingers. 
and not to burn your work. Now we're gonna take the last piece of string of 15 centimeters or six inches, and we're gonna make a sliding knot. So I'm gonna fold the sides like this on each other. Take the string in the middle. We're just gonna do a regular knot to start. And this is the same thing as the square knots we did on each side. Underneath all, on top of the right, right on top of everything, into the loop of the left, pull. Now the right underneath everything, on top of the left, left on top of everything, into the loop on the right. Cut and burn, and we're done. There we are. Beautiful anklet. Fast, easy simple 